is Lil, uh, or Elizabeth. I'm a doctor of chiropractic and founder of Haptic Chiropractors. I run my practice um, in a slightly, I suppose, unusual setting. I run it in a WeWork office, which is uh, obviously I'm surrounded by people who work in tech and on their laptops. Basically, they spend most of their day like this, uh, hunched over on their desk. So that's pretty much my biggest, uh, biggest patient base, really. I'm finding mostly these days that most of the people that come in, it's because of, yeah, desk-bound jobs and they're, people are now very conscious of their posture and they don't like the way that they're looking and they're being really rounded and slouched over. Um, so no, it's mostly, I'd say, yeah, office-based people these days. I need to find something, something that's going to give me a solution to the fact that, you know, it's helps, something that's going to help counteract the fact that I'm sitting all day. Um, so obviously we, we go through everything, we look at their posture and work out what's going on and most of the time the biggest problem is the fact that they're sitting all day. Um, and then it's great, we get to take it from there and, and help them sort that problem out basically. For me, like, it, it's, a, it's a nice product, it looks great and that's yeah. a, make, for me it makes a big difference. Um, most of the other standing desks I've used, you know, that, or I've seen, that, you know, they're huge and they're made of plastic and metal and for me I don't want to be putting more plastic and metal in my office, I want wood and nice things to be around basically. Um, secondly, the fact that like, I can stand up properly and actually look at the screen at screen height rather than the keyboard being down here, you know the keyboard being nice and high but actually my screen's right down there so a lot of people end up still being like this when they're on their standing desk. Not at all. It, it's counterproductive. You know, it's fine standing up all day, but if you if you're still you know in this position looking down, you're still developing this what's in the industry known as upper cross syndrome, basically, where you get sort of a collapsing of the diaphragm and the rib cage. You go down, your shoulders drop in, your pecs get tight, the head goes forward, and you end up like a tight neck. You might as well position. get your walking stick out now. You know? Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. So no, massively, you've got to, you've got to have it screen up high, like like this demonstration is. Get the screen up nice and high and you can stand comfortably with the shoulders back and the arms rested and yeah, you're set to go there. Is a, is a huge benefit, but there are times of the day where you do want to sit down. Um, whether it's you get tired, you, your legs are a bit tired, maybe you want to sit down. And what's great about it is it's completely flat pack or even it doesn't take up a huge amount of space. My desk is big enough that if I want to sit down, I literally push it to the back and I sit down and write my, write my notes, write my journal, or I stick it down, close it up and it's, that's it, it's pretty light, it's five kilograms and I stick it to one side. So you could pretty much desk. take that home if you wanted yeah, to a different office, yeah. because you're, you're a co-working space person, you could go to a different co-working space. Yeah. Mm. I mean I'm lucky at WeWork, I've got my own office with fixed, my own fixed desk, but a lot of them are yeah, like hot desking or moving around and that's why I often recommend this one because it's easy enough that people can flat pack it and take it wherever they go. Um, yeah, to look at the patients. So, yeah, definitely, definitely so. Fantastic. Thank you, Lil. No worries.